Why is it important to have a succession plan? I'm Jason Stahl, and we're going to find out next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. <laughs> Most shop owners have the same profile. They started in a shop as a technician or sweeping floors and work their way up. Eventually, they either buy the business or start their own and their hard work ethic propels them forward. As more cars come through their shop, they build larger facilities or multiple locations and some create lifestyles they never dreamed of before. Yet, there comes a time when they look up from under the hood and ask themselves the following questions. What do I want the rest of my life to look like? How do I transition the business? Do my kids take it over? Will they run it into the ground? Do I sell it? To whom do I sell it? What is my business worth? What roles do the family see themselves playing? How can I assist my family in achieving their vision? Having a vision for your business and life gives you purpose and meaning. Yet most shop owners never discuss this with both themselves and their families. Consequently, they put out fires and create uncertainty among their families, resulting in a less desirable outcome than they could have achieved. A five-step process to analyze the business and family needs can help. These steps include, number one, creating a vision for the business and family. Number two, carrying out a detailed situational analysis of the business with an emphasis on shortfalls. Number three, laying a roadmap to guide the family towards their vision. Number four, implementing the plan after covering risks such as divorce, disability, and even death. Number five, acting as 911 for the business by continually monitoring the plan and conducting the right pivots when a strategy is unsuccessful. It's crucial to understand the family mindset. Once an overall vision is set, a plan can then be developed to achieve the vision. This includes, but is not limited to, ensuring you have adequate funds available to live the lifestyle you want, installing the proper retirement plan that will allow you to maximize your savings, minimize your taxes, and provide a proper benefit for your employees, creating a business structure that will provide multiple independent income streams, implementing training and development programs for children and key employees who may either take over or run the business, ensuring you have adequate risk management vehicles in place in the event of a crisis. Have a self buyout plan that will allow you to dictate the terms of a transition. Aside from creating a vision, the goal of family meetings is to develop a team culture with the family. Visualize each session as an added step towards building a pyramid of strong mindset and vision. Trust is the bottom foundation. By creating artificial harmony, the fear of conflict is overcome which leads to the next step, having clear communication. Once family members are open about their expectations, they're ready to move on to the third step, commitment, which leads to the peak, attention to results. Of course, life throws us wrenches like health challenges, divorce, mental health issues, caregiving for aging parents, and even death. It's good to have an advisor who has your best interest in mind and has vetted professionals in each field to help you manage those challenges. By acting as your point person, they lead you to the right person or firm and help coordinate a solution for you. This leaves you free to focus on growing your business, caring for your family, and contributing to your community. So now you know why it's important to have a succession plan and steps you can take to start along the path to aligning your family and business for generational wealth. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.